Audio and sound effects in this video were created using audio.com. Use the link in the description to get 10% off. This is the Canon Futura, a very interestingly shaped camera. This is um, not your typical camera in terms of shape, as you can see right here. It kind of resembles sort of a camcorder, but not really. So it's, uh, it's really cool in my opinion. So first of all, um, it takes one of these batteries. This is the uh, 2CR5 battery. So that guy just goes down here. You open up this latch. And it goes down here. So there's one already. So there's that. And let's go quickly over the design and the buttons. So nothing on this side. Uh, here you can put a strap in. Uh, at the bottom here, um, like I said, this is the battery latch. You got your tripod mount. This will open up the, the film compartment. And I'll show you that actually this way. So you actually load the film this way which is very interesting so it goes well loaded in just a second and basically you drop it in this way and it goes in here i'll do it in a second and then um, on this side you've got this little strap for your handle so you can carry it like this um, and then on the front now this is the interesting part this is the lens cap but it's also connected to the camera and this is also the on off button so the moment you open this up now it's on and you've got a flash here and the cool thing is when you zoom in the flash actually moves with the lens that's pretty cool so here you've got the lens and all the sensors and everything and on the top you've got also another cool thing so when it's like this you use this viewfinder but when you switch it here there's a viewfinder on the top which is again really cool now when you do that this one gets disabled so you have to switch it back if you want to use this one you've got the shutter button and you've got the zoom in and zoom out buttons right here so let's look at the front here there we go so again zoom in zoom out buttons here you've got the timer. I'm just going to disable that, but yeah, it's 10 seconds. Um, here you've got the uh, landscape button. So you push and hold this one if you want to um, take a landscape photo. I'm guessing it drops the aperture maybe f8 or f11 so that you can get everything in focus. So there's that one. You have to, again, hold and um, push the shutter button. Then you've got the flash buttons here, various options. It's got red eye. And then you've got the uh, uh, continuous mode. You've got a few other features here as well. And this is if you want to force rewind the film, if you are, if you're not done, but you want to just rewind the film. And uh, that's it in terms of features now let's load the film so again you you have to this tip has to go down so go this way oh i think i went a little too far again it's a little funky design as long as it goes all the way and then open it up See, I don't think I see. Okay, this is a good example. I don't think I went all the way. So let's, yeah, take this out a bit. So it goes to this. Yeah, see, that should be fine. And then. Okay, anything happen? Yep, 
There you go. So we got one. Now the film is loaded. So it's an unusual loading mechanism, but um, well, it works. Now let's take a look at some photos taken with this camera. Telegrading and film emulation in this video was done using Dehancer Pro. Use promo code FILMMAKING today and get 10% off any of their software. See link in the description.